King himself look like a, a top 10 caliber player, top 20. So we'll see if he's able to have a continued strong PGRV2 season. And the first test is right here against the Buzz, already taking 60%. But he's going to respond in kind with the up throw to fair. Man, looking like Smash 4 out here. Almost immediately responding with similar damage. And just with one flying fortress, it's going to be a lead. I feel like both of these players are such great personifications of the talent of Tri-State. You have the reckless demon Jesus in Leon Christ. going for any option to take any lead. And then you have the methodical DeBuzz always finding himself as the top representative, the true beacon of Tri-State's power. These guys are the full good and evil that our hold can bring to you. Yo, I love, oh my God, another one almost down. But man. I love him, Yo, even though Nairo play. couldn't be here. Leon is channeling him, both with his playstyle and his choice of character, throwing it back to the old days of Nairo's Bowser. Oh! Yeah, not quite enough. I, I don't know why I got excited for that. I saw the 86%. I knew there was no way, but Honestly, still. Max, I wouldn't fault you for getting excited. Every hit hits the crowd more than it hits the player. Every time Bowser makes contact, you know oh! something insane is about to happen. What is happening, dude? If I had to look at this matchup on paper, I'd tell you 70, 30, all of them are easy. But Leon out here making his stand with Bowser. Still alive, 180, no way. Leon right. does not care about your numbers. He doesn't give a damn about your matchup charts. He's gonna swing, he's gonna read, and he's gonna win. And just a couple good trades could carry him to victory here. He's got a full stock over to Buzz and so much survivability to play with. But that said, you have to consistently be getting in. If the Buzz get his walls up and can just prevent any sort of interaction, then we're going to see Leon struggle even with this kind of lead to start. Game one bringing us to final destination. It feels such an interesting choice because the Buzz has no other options but retreat from ledge to ledge to establish his zone control. Ooh, and cross stage, a little bit of charge on that purple forward smash. That'll take care of him. And DeBuzz can make up this 80% so easily. Just a couple juggles like that and a couple Pikmin latches. We're already starting to see it. Like, yeah. both of these characters are so good at being able to put on the percentage. And once they have a little bit of ground to control, once they have someone bottled up, you know that it's only going to get worse from there. Leon, with the Renegade back here, is going to take game one. And even though DeBuzz did a phenomenal job of playing from behind that entire game, it didn't matter. You know, Leon kind of looks like Bowser, bro. <laughs> He's got that mean mug perpetually attached it's to the him. Jaw. He's like the nicest dude ever. He's but got the jawline yeah, yeah, yeah. of a king. Yeah, he really does. And the intense eyebrows, man. Very Bowser-esque. A little bit a little bit of the RB up there, just to spice yeah, yeah, things yeah. up, too. Resting Bowser face, bro? <laughs> yeah, he's got that. All right, let's go, both players. Unbiased commentary, defend the North 2019. Who's got it? Leon up a game here, but the buzz gonna run it right back to FD. I'm very surprised Leon let him strike to this game one. This is typically his owner's paradise, right? Considering how well game one went for Leon, I feel like it makes all the sense in the world. But to that note, I feel like it's because of the unorthodox way that Leon plays. He doesn't particularly care about how well a player is able to take advantage of a stage or how much damage they can put on if he can match them tempo for tempo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Game one, I'm surprised like the striking process got them here to FD, but oh, the buzz just gonna throw the down here in the outer hit yet again, getting him another stage spike for the kill. I feel like people just aren't looking to tech that because they're expecting to get sent down. Bro, everyone's looking to swing. No one wants to do defensive things. True, but you gotta keep yourself alive, man. Options like that tech in when you're doing your recovery, when you're swinging off stage, just throw in the LRR press, because it's not going to cost you anything anyway. Oh, Leon's so tricky. The air dodge onto the stage. Not enough to take care of DeBuzz from cross stage, but still. He went down, down for that one. Didn't get it. That'll do it, though. Wow. Throwing that down air out of disadvantage. And of course, because of the way the move works, if he's still taking knockback when he initiates it, he won't fall to the ground immediately. So many people have a hard time following that up. Now, when we look at Bowser, we usually just see someone who's swinging hard, but I want you to recognize what tools Leon's using. Almost exclusively, the going to has been grab, and then of course the throw to offset stage positioning, or the forward air. Bowser's forward oh! air, a phenomenal tool for breaking zone, but up smash, a phenomenal tool for breaking faces. These call outs from Leon have just been so raw, whether it's get up from the edge, jumps, oh, and he finally we got our right. Tech. He's learning. I love the fadeback with the air dodge too, but to Buzz delaying that back air, throwing off the parry timing. Gonna catch Leon with his pants down here. Oh, two up smashes, Ooh. two up airs. Let me get one that's more. That's almost 70 damage. You know, everybody started saying, oh, this character can't kill you. The character can't damage you. 
All because of a few nerfs. Say oh, less. Oh, still alive cross stage. The Buzz couldn't finish that off with up smash. Oh, and the Buzz not even caught shielding there. That, I think, is the secret. That's why the zoners are so good, right? Bowser has some tools to get in on defense, right? If you're going to see someone holding block, there's a lot of ways to open them up with side B, break their shield with down B, right? But the Buzz not even getting in range for that kind of engagement. Puzz putting on a big thinky face, trying to figure out where we're going now. Taking away Smashville. And Story, really good calls on that. Yoshi's Story being available to Bowser is something that I feel like no one has recognized the danger in that. Like, people fear getting taken off the top rope on Battlefield. Yeah, yeah. Magic Story, Shrunk you're in Battlefield. done. Yeah. And with slants on that stage, Bowser's Fire Breath becomes so much more palpable when it comes to controlling ledge. That's just dangerous and a great call on the half of us getting rid of that, but it's Smash who we go to as Battlefield was the other band. And another interesting situation, we see the zoner getting brought to a stage where typically they can play it well. And I feel like, once again, Devuz being able to get backed into the corner, it's not gonna have that big of an impact in this match because he's able to contest center stage really well due to the fact that Bowser is a big boy. Well, we were talking about how Debuzz getting in that whiff range of Bowser's options against Shield and his ways to break the zone is what's really important. And if he does get backed up too hard, he won't have any ground to retreat to. So this could be huge for Leon, but I'm not sure. You gotta see how it plays out. So far, Debuzz slightly in the lead, but if you consider the weight differential between these guys, Leon is leading by a mile right now. That's another thing is that typically when we look at the percentages in competitive play, everything is so closely aligned, but Olimar on the lighter end, Bowser the heavy end. Oh! No, not quite enough. The buzz oh, just Leon. barely hanging on. Yeah, and he went all the way to the corner without falling off, too. Oh, Leon with the two frame of a god. And plus, um, since that moves active for five frames, by the way, and you have two frames to hit people off the ledge, that basically means I, I think you have like a six frame window, six or seven frames. I forget how the math shakes out again in my head, but um, yeah, that's a really wide window that's like more a tenth of a second or more that you can line that up. Like, it's such a safe option, and it's reasonable why we've seen it so often from Leon, but it finally coming in clutch for him, especially as we try to secure game three, which is gonna be really oh! important. It's taking the momentum to the set, which Leon is just robbing from Debuzz. Yep, that damage given and taken ratio is gonna be way in Debuzz's favor at the end of the set, but it doesn't matter. There's so much more at play here. The crowd actually popping off when someone gets a successful tech now. Yeah, I mean, Debuzz has caught so many people off guard with that that I feel like it's a deserved one. <laughs> Ooh, landing there into the aerial All right, oh. right, buddy. It he doesn't matter. He is just swinging for the fences at this point. Oh! It's kind of how he's built his career at this point. Going buck wild and such talented players and busting them into paste has been what's put Leon on the map from day one. Jersey knew he was a talent, then all of Tri-State heralded him as a hero, and now it's getting to the point where he is a national icon for how much Jeez. ruin he brings to his enemies. 2-1 up on the bus. Leon, are you about to go to Grand Finals? You had a shot before on the winner's side, but he is down and not out, saying, I'm still trying to make this run. I'm trying to see Sam Sora again. I'm trying to show him what I've learned. The craziest thing about all of this is that Leon really hasn't changed any major aspects of his gameplay. He's made very minute adjustments. And you know what, man? I don't even think he has to, if I'm being real, because it seems to be working. It's gotten him to top three, one game away from top two. Where he will really have to change it up, though, is against Samsora, because it looks like he's keen to the nonsense. He already got a set with him at Smash and Splash that, despite getting three-stocked and completely caught off guard, he was able to walk away with it and win. And then he just solidified that by taking the set count to 2-0 in Winners Finals. Either way, not out of the woods yet. Still has to go through one more game on the buzz, and it's going to be on FD. This is not a great look on paper, but we've already seen Leon is capable of winning here. I don't understand what the, the method of operations is for bringing us to FD. We've seen time and time again that the presence of platforms really has no impact on how well the buzz can run away or slowing down Leon and his imminent death approach on his enemies. Yeah, Leon just no regard for anybody's well-being, including his own. And like, I feel like without platforms, it makes the job a little bit harder for Debuzz. He has less options for getting off the ledge. He has no real vertical space to run away, because if he ends up going too high with his recovery, Leon can just figure out a way to shark him. Nair, up air, the aerial flying press. We've all seen come into play to take stocks in this set. 
We were talking about how rough it is for Bowser. Whoa! The whip punish on the jab! And we're going to keep talking about how rough it is for the Buzz to come back from all of this. Yeah, it's so tough for Bowser to get off the edge, but the same could be said about his opponents. That Whirling Fortress out of shield covers so many things. Neutral get up and roll pretty much automatically fold to that. And if you just keep blocking that stuff's get up attack, it keeps you safe from jump. This is out of control, and he takes another stock with the up smash. The crowd is going. This, they're going insane, Max. There's no words for this. You can hear them going crazy. It's only, there's less and less control as this set is going. Nothing's making sense anymore. Charger smash attacks, oh! your buttons, whatever oh! you want. Get a three but stock, that's what it's gonna Leon. Take for Leon to take the set 3-1 from the boss. Oh my God, wrapped up with a bow. Three stock finish in Bowser versus Olimar. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? I want you to look at this bracket. I want anyone to pull up Smash GG right now. I want you to look at that character icon. You're gonna see Olimar, you're gonna see Bowser, you're gonna wonder to yourself, how the hell did we get here? How did we return to Grand Finals for the revenge of Leon against Sam Sora? With the lone exception of Sam Sora, Leon has gone through every top 10 player in this building. Starts here at the top of winter semifinals with a 3-1 over Light. And before that, he beat Mars 3-2? 3-1, 3-1, yeah, I think it was 3-1 as well. Yeah, dude. And then he just 3-1 to Buzz. This man can't even be taken to game five. That's how crazy it is. But of course, Sam Sora, the one gentleman in this building with the W on Leon for the day. How long will that last? Can Leon pull six games out of his hat before Sam Sora takes three within the same set? I